Good day, boys and girls. Welcome to our English lesson. Our topic for today is conjunctions. Let's find out what conjunctions are. Conjunctions are joining words. Examples of conjunctions? Because, but, if, therefore, although, and and. And there are many more boys and girls, but these are just a few that we will discuss today. How do we join sentences using conjunctions? There are a few rules to remember. Number one, read both sentences. Number two, write down the first sentence. Number three, replace the full stop with the conjunction that you have chosen. Number four, the first letter of the first word of the second sentence is written as a lowercase or small letter. Number five, copy down the rest of the sentence and end with a full stop. Remember these rules well, boys and girls. Now let's look at how these rules are applied. Read both sentences. In this case, our two sentences are It is a rainy day. We should carry umbrellas. Write down the first sentence. It is a rainy day. Replace the full stop with the conjunction that you have chosen. In this case, we have chosen the conjunction therefore. So it will read, It is a rainy day, therefore. The first letter of the first word of the second sentence is written as a lowercase or small letter. It is a rainy day, therefore, we, the W in we, is written as a small or lowercase letter. Copy down the rest of the second sentence and end with a full stop. It is a rainy day, therefore, we should carry umbrellas. Full stop. As you can see, boys and girls, we have taken two sentences and used a conjunction to make it into one sentence. A conjunction joins two sentences together to make one sentence. It is a rainy day, therefore, we should carry an umbrella. Now let's look at some more examples. Number one, rugby is an exciting game. It can be very dangerous. We've chosen the conjunction, but rugby is an exciting game, but it can be very dangerous. Example number two, Granny and I went to the seaside. It was an overcast and cloudy day. We've chosen the conjunction although. Granny and I went to the seaside although it was an overcast and cloudy day. Example number three. Timothy could not eat chocolate. Chocolate made him sick. We've chosen the conjunction because. Timothy could not eat chocolate because chocolate made him sick. Read these examples again, boys and girls. I will give you a few seconds. I hope you now understand conjunctions a lot more. Remember, boys and girls, a child who reads becomes an adult who thinks. Thank you.